let's quickly solve these two problems in the first case we want to write a harmonic function but please understand that in this harmonic function a is the dependent variable and t is the independent variable so to create a harmonic function first we need to define the t vector and then we can get the a vector in the second case we want to do the square of a vector and really it's a very interesting uh, problem because it is not just a multiplied by a because we have to see how the matrix multiplication has been done or if you want to do the element wise multiplication what should be the command so first i am going to write a harmonic function and use as usual i am going to start my first line as clc that is going to clear the command window the second line will be clear all to come uh, clear the workspace define your first uh, dependent variable that is t i am assuming that my time is starting from the zero value increasing with an increment of 0.2 and ending at a value of 4 so when i will execute this line i will see that my time vector will have total 21 element because it's starting from the zero so let me uh, try to run this code but as i know the matlab will first ask me to save the file so i am right saving this file as my trial name and you can see now there are 21 element as an output and the first is 0 0 0.2 0 0.4 increment here i would like to add another command if i will press a semicolon here and when then again i will run the entire code now you will not find anything on the command window why so if you are going to put a semicolon at the end of any command line matlab is not going to display it but it will execute this line so that we can see that t vector is already created and available in my workspace but it is not there in the command window if you want to see t vector you have to simply write t here and when you will press enter the t will be displayed on the command window after defining the dependent where independent variable let me write the a is equal to 20 multiplied by sine 5 into t this is the output of your two line in the first line we have defined the time function and the second line we are writing a sine function but here you should remember very important thing whenever you are using any trigonometry function in the matlab matlab is going to consider the value given for the function in radians for example i am interested to find the value of sine 30 degree i know that the sine 30 is 0 0.5 but here if i will say sine 30 the answer is not 0 0.5 why because the matlab has considered this in radians not in degree suppose i want to get the actual 30 degree what i need to write i have to convert this radians into degree by simply multiplying pi by 180 you can see now that the output of this line is 0 0.5 so please remember whenever using a trigonometry function uh, the angle should be in radians not in degree the second question is that i want to create a vector a and then i have to multiply this vector so i am now putting these two line as the comment line and for that i am simply putting this percent sign before my command so now matlab is not going to consider these two line for the execution and again i am defining the a vector as 2 5 7 3 and 1 so this is my row vector let me check when I am executing this, the A is a row vector and having five different elements. And I have to do the square of this A. That means I just want to do A multiplied by A. If I will execute this command, there is an error. Why there is an error? Because A is a vector and it is going to follow the vector multiplication law. That means if I want to multiply a vector of one row and five column, I need to multiply it with a 5 row and 1 column vector but here both the A are 1 row and 5 element. In such case we have a special command so that we can do the element wise multiplication and how we can do so for that what we need to write we have to add one dot here and then I am doing this A dot multiplication A and now you will find that I can get the square of individual element. I am writing the same command in my script 
so here i am putting a semicolon so the matlab will not going to display this line and this square underscore a is the output and this is simply a dot multiplication a let me check so you can see now this is the square of your vector a another term you can write that the square underscore a1 you can say that a dot and the power 2 this is also going to be the same output if you would have simply write a to the power 2 again we are going to get an error because this is same expression as a multiplication a but this time i have given one dot so this dot is very important expression which is used to just do the element wise multiplication or element wise square even we can write that a dot the power 3 so we will get the cube of individual elements so please remember this dot is very important command code otherwise what you need to do suppose i want to do the multiplication of individual element of a vector but i don't want to use the dot function what would be the output in this case what i need to do i have to say that one will be multiplied by one then i will get the first value so i can create another vector where i am saying that my square underscore a is three and what is the value a1 multiplied with a1 similarly i have to write 2 will be multiplied with 2 that means what i am doing i am calling the first element of vector a and i am doing the multiplication with the same element here i am doing the second element so similar we can repeat it for every uh, element and then we can see the same output so this is really a long command to get the square of individual element and if your vector is having 100 element you cannot write this expression but you can simply say that a dot and square or a dot multiply by a so i hope that these two short problems will help you to build further knowledge in the next class we are going to talk about the plot command of the matlab thank you